What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, episode 23 on our ITR build project. On the last episode, you see us getting the seat all cleaned up and installed in our ITR project. And those red Ricardo look really good on the interior of our ITR. On today's episode, we'll be working a little bit under the hood. As some of you already know that we have a complete 2000 JDM spot from H Motor and we'll be working on the transmission. What are we gonna be working on? Stay right with us. John, what we got today? All right, so what we have here is some very high quality Speed Factory Racing detent springs for the B-Series transmission. And it's good across all the B-Series except for the all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive has a third one of these. But these things are really nice. And the whole idea behind it is to improve your shift quality. And I know we've talked about this a couple of times. Let's talk about improved shift quality. What do you mean by that? So, if you've driven a B-Series car with a, a uh, ship linkage, linkage yep. instead of a cable like RSX or H series. Um, when your car, when the shifter goes into gear, when it goes forward, you feel it go into gear. But what holds it there and makes the shift firm is your detent springs. And what these springs do is they put pressure on a ball bearing that rides on the shift shifter shafts inside the transmission, and that's what really helps it feel into gear. Like if you've ever driven like a an S2000, it has that real nice click when you go into gear, and it really helps hold it in. So what is the difference between this one and the OEM one? So the, the real difference is they went with a little bit longer spring and a different um, stiffness in the material. So what that's doing is putting more tension on the ball bearing, in other words, making it hold it in gear on that detent a little bit stronger, giving you a better feel overall. More resistant. And the best thing about it is, it's probably the cheapest mod you could do on one of these parts. I mean, how much these things were? I forgot how, how much it was. I, I mean, it's, it's right around 30 bucks, shit. something like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's nothing. And, not, and then even on Black Friday, they have even better deals. And you know it's Speed Factory, so you know the high, the quality is very high. And the install is super easy. And, and get get a look at what we're gonna do and then we'll take it for a ride. Yeah, let's there. go ahead and get this installed and after this we actually gonna wanna take our integra for a spin. And I don't think we ever have in videos that we actually drive this car they down the road. No, they haven't seen it, they haven't felt how, just how much incredible horsepower is in this baby right here. <laughs> it's clean. I don't know about incredible horsepower. Let's get to it, man. <laughs> All right, so under the vehicle, what are we looking at right now? All right, so here's our transmission. This is our all original JDM ITR swap. So this is a JDM 2000 ITR swap, LSD, everything like that, all original. We put some new hardware in. But right here are the two D10 spring bolts. This is what we're going after. And we're just gonna pop these down, swap the spring out, put it back together, call it a day. So let's do it. All right, so all we got right here, we screw this right out. And what we have is we have our ball bearing right there. Then we have our detent spring right there. Now what we, we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the bench and we're gonna put them next to each other and compare them. The left side here, that's the OEM one, and this is the Speak Factory uh, springs, right? Yeah, so as you can see, one's a little longer than the other. That alone will give you more tension, but the biggest difference is it's actual difference in tension on the spring. When you squeeze it, you can really tell the difference. When oh yeah, it's a little hard. Let me feel this one here. Oh yeah. And the install after this is super easy, because all we have to do is take this, put it into our bolt right here Then we take our ball bearing you don't want to just let it sit on there we're gonna hold it and we just put it right back into the car well that was a pretty easy install but uh, it does appear that we lose a little bit of the fluid, right? Yeah, we lost a little fluid on this one. As you can see, this one's a little bit lower than this one. So we did lose some. I didn't let it all drain out, but we're gonna go ahead and check the 
the fluid level over here at our fill bolt and top it off if we need it. When you pull that bolt out, we should see it dripping. Very little, but dripping some. Nothing's dripping, so that means we're a little low. So we're gonna grab the funnel and top her off and see how it's going from there. There's a couple different ways that you can fill the fluid. What we're gonna do is a, a way that we know is pretty easy is we go through the speed sensor. So we're gonna pull the speed sensor out. We have the fill bolt out and we're gonna put a funnel straight on down into the speed sensor and pull it right on out of there. So we just topped it off and this is what we're looking for. A real light stream coming out. We're good to go. Time to put the bolt back in. Put the speed sensor in. Go hit some gears. Speed sensor is all tight. Let's go for a spin.